right, welcome back everybody to part two of my Trials of Reckoning video. So, so far let me update you on the progress, but before I do that, I just wanted to mention that I'm sort of away from home for like almost a week. So I'm not going to be able to keep up with videos for a while, but I'll be back and I'll be making videos when I get back. Uh, so in terms of my status for Trials of Reckoning, I just wanted to show you guys that this is how far I made it. So remember, I'm kind of just not really paying attention to this, just letting it do on auto. And this has been mostly that free energy that we got. I The last couple of days, I've kind of been putting energy into it too but just kind of to do hard quest four and five so in terms of the box i actually didn't make it as far as i thought i would so part of the reason is because i it took me a while to get box four and one of the other boxes pretty much had to go all the way for two of them so i you know i couldn't really skip uh and i'm talking in terms of the recipes not necessarily in terms of the main item and then this other thing that happened that was for the boss battle, I actually went into normal mode and I did a bunch of boss battles on normal mode by mistake. And so I'm kind of behind on in terms of medals where I should be. I still have these 300 tickets that I haven't fully gone through, but I don't think I'm going to make it to the right amount of medals quite with this amount. So let me just also just go in here. Actually, let me go into the equipment so you can see. It feels like I don't have that many medals, but if you kind of just go to equipment and make sure you check this off so it counts that plus two, I have 32, so I really only need 17. I'm not really worried about that much. I should be able to do it. Um, we still have a couple of days left. So if we go back to the Trials of Reckoning, let me actually show you my team that I have. And actually, I had made it, so this is the, the team that I showed. I changed a few things, right? Um, in terms of just arrangement, turning off buffs and stuff like that. And I think this is actually pretty good. Notice that I also have four, five uh, bonus cards and one of them is Vow of Love. So let's just get into this team and just see how it does. This is supposed to be like my free to play team. And I actually think I ended up liking this team a little bit more than my other team. And again, it's not going to be super, super high uh, damage, but it's going to be a uh, super high score, but it's going to be a pretty good score, good enough that I can just auto this. So the first turn, everyone has buffs that they could kind of stay together and, or not really stay together, but like not move to the side and do things like that. They're actually progressing towards the enemy and sort of you know, doing the right thing, basically. Um, so yeah, it's basically just AoE attacks. Prompto's gonna get a good one here. So I think that turned out to be pretty good. And then Shadow Lynx, I actually put her so that she could start doing chains. That's probably bad timing on that one. Um, so she could start doing chains and sort of just get the Dark Chain going, the Dark Slash. Uh, it doesn't even work that well with the Slash, but, you know, it kind of works well enough. Uh, so Shadow Lynx is going to come in here, and the thing is that now I think I have Vile Love on Prompto, so now the Mana Bulls are going to attack him. Usually Rairu will do a, a the blind, his blind ability, but he didn't do it this time. But you can see like Shadow Lynx isn't really in danger because the, the hate is on Prompto, so with Blackout, that causes blind, and then Shadow Links doesn't really get threatened anymore. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to get the fake super overkill, but I think that's enough of a chain to get a decent score. Alright, so let's, we're just wrapping this up, and then we'll see what kind of score we get at the end. Probably not going to be the highest of all scores, but should be decent. Alright, so 4,500, that's about, that's kind of a high score for me, and that's going to give me 22. All right, so that's actually pretty good in terms of, you know, progressing through this and getting all these boss battles done. And then let me just show you the fire team as well. 
this team was doing better. I actually had Delita on this team, but I was like, you know what, let me just make it um, non-limited so you guys could see. But this team, even without Delita, this team was doing a little bit better, but for whatever reason, it's just not doing quite as good. It's still like in the 4,000s, but it's not like that mid 4,000s like the other team started doing, so I think I might stick with the other team. So the idea here is to actually have like a fire slashing chain going and then sort of have Ramada clean up, hopefully clean up the wolves on the side and the cactuars. Uh, I do see that sometimes she just joins the other team. It, it kind of varies every time. She does kind of start chaining with the other team and that actually breaks the chain. But, you know, having the fire slashers here uh, with Rain with this triple attack and you know his imperil and everything they actually do some pretty good damage and get some pretty good chains going um so yeah this team i don't have to worry about like like the same way i worry with shadow links dying but you know they kind of just do their thing seymour seems to always do that with the congo so that's pretty good and then it's, it's almost like a race between the fire team and Ramada to see if Ramada gets the last Cactuar or not. But, you know, it kind of still going to average to the same score anyway. So let's just let this wrap up and see what happens. So she, she does get one of the kills, but the other one is just going to stay alive. And that's fine. I'm not really concerned that much about that. Okay, so let's see what kind of score we got. And that's actually lower 4,000. So I kind of had the Lita and Christmas Ramada, but I just kind of replaced them just to kind of have a free-to-play team. It doesn't matter. I think the other team is doing pretty decently enough. All right, let me actually go over the VCs. Basically the same VCs, a little different configuration. They're all essentially like Avail like unlimited so you don't have to worry about that and yeah i think that's pretty much it like i'm just gonna keep grinding with this and i do have i forgot if i mentioned it but i do have a lot of skip tickets i just never use them for this so again that's another reason why i'm not really worried about this i'll just skip a lot of them and then just do the rest of the runs and I think they should be good, like honestly. It's just a matter of getting these in while, wow. you know, whenever I can sneak some time in here and there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I probably won't see you on Christmas, so Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. And I hope you guys, if you get like some time off, I hope you guys can rest. I am definitely resting as much as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Talk to you later.